Good morning, it's Annette Hatch 61 here. I'm down here at Nets Point. Uh, about to review something a little bit different. Uh, what I want to review today here is the DJI Phantom 3 4K aerial drone. So let me open this thing up, take a look at it, and we'll see what it can do. Hang on. Okay, the drone came from DJI in this beautiful backpack type of case. It's a hard shell case, uh, which contains everything you need to fly it. Open it up. And there it is, it's nice and secure in here. It's got a compartments for two additional batteries. I do have one, they sent me two batteries. Uh, I do have one of the, the other batteries at home charging right now because I did just come back from taking a flight around town with it. So I could show you guys what it looks like uh, from the video. But let me take it out of here. You know, the control is in here. The actual drone itself is in here. Propellers, chargers, the iPad that you'll view it on. Everything came in this case, uh, chargers, everything you need. So let me put it together and you can see what it looks like real quick. Okay, basically here's the drone as it, as it comes once you put the uh, propellers on. Uh, pretty foolproof. Uh, they only go on one way. So, the back, this is the battery right here. We tested to see how much battery life is in there. We got full charge right now. The gimbal for the camera. Uh, it keeps it steady no matter which way this thing goes the gimbal stays perfectly straight So all your pitches are really smooth and you'll see that when I show you the video of, of flying it But I mean it basically comes all put together except for putting the propellers on Here's your controller Right here You view What the drone is seeing by attaching mini iPad phone uh, regular iPad wherever you want on there and there's a program that you download, an app that you download from the App Store or from whatever you use. And uh, it'll show you exactly what the drone sees on the screen. Makes it very easy to fly. Uh, even for a novice, I mean, growing up I've always enjoyed model airplanes, rockets, all the, anything that flies. And when I saw these, I just had to have one. So, uh, looks great. But let me take it up. I'll show you how uh, the video looks and you can see what you think. Hang on. All right, before I show you the video footage, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to take off with this little thing. I mean, on the screen, you probably can't see it, but there's a button right here. You just press it, slide that over, and it'll take off. And it'll just hover there until uh, you tell it what to do. So let me show you some of the video and uh, let you know how it does. Okay, so no tour of Matapoise. It would be uh, complete without showing you Salty the Seahorse. Salty the Seahorse is about 38 feet tall. Uh, it's been basically the uh, icon of Matapoise since the mid-50s. Originally there was a, uh, what you see right here, that's Route 6. Uh, it used to be the main thoroughfare to go to Cape Cod. Uh, but once they built Interstate 195, uh, Route 6 sort of became just a small town uh, throughway. So, this is a quick picture of it. Here we are going down Ned's Point. This is uh, another attraction of Matapoise. It's a beautiful area. A lot of people hang out here, picnic here, relax, and enjoy the scenery here. That's Ned's Point Light. It's still an active lighthouse uh, controlled by the uh, Coast Guard. And we'll fly past it now. As you can see, it's uh, by the flag on the right. It is a breezy day, and this drone can fly about 20-25 miles an hour. So if the wind gets any higher than that, you really got to be careful because basically you can't fight the wind over 25 miles an hour and you're going to end up losing your drone. So you got to be real careful. Make sure you, you're flying right. Uh, we'll fly down the coast a little bit, head toward the town beach. Again, it's a beautiful area. Uh, Matapoise is an old whaling town. And uh, back in the whaling days and the days when it was just the Indians around, Matapoise was named by the Indians. It's, it means a uh, place of rest because back in the day, the Indians, when they would come back from, come back to the mainland from the islands of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, this is where they would land. And it was a beautiful place, just like it is a beautiful place now. And it was the place that they would rest before they would move further, uh, further inland to gather what they needed and, you know, hunt and do everything else. 
and they're working on some of the uh, the docks over here. This is one of the uh, dredges that they're using to rebuild this dock here for this house. A lot of these houses that you see along the uh, the coastline were all the whaling captain's houses, and they've just been maintained and kept. They're beautiful houses. Uh, so here we are flying in toward the town beach. A uh, very popular place, but today it's about 60 degrees here in Mattapoisa and overcast, so there's not a lot of people on the beach. And that's why I'm taking advantage of this time, because I don't want to be flying over people when they're laying on the beach and everything else. But uh, I just figured it was a good time to do it without the, well, except for the wind. But, you know, it's not too bad. And here we are going over... Going over the beach, heading toward the town wharf, and you can see, let's see if I turn here so you can see it, uh, that white tent on the left hand side, that's for next weekend, uh, it's a big event called Harbor Days in Mattapoise, where they have all kinds of artists and food vendors and everything else, and they all uh, come down here, and here we are at the town wharf, okay. So you can see that, that tent area set up again, and we're going to fly over. You'll see uh, the gazebo where we have teen dances, square dances, band concerts. I mean, there's something, there's uh, antique car shows, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on uh, downtown here. It's a great small town atmosphere, and everybody enjoys it. Uh, that little trailer that you see there, a little shed size trailer that you see there, that's called the ice cream slip. It sells food and ice cream and coffee and all that type of stuff. And great little place to relax. Here I am still trying to figure this drone out. Okay, I'm going to fly forward here. Go over the top of this tree. And then I'm coming to this tree here and I'm not really sure if I'm going to fly over it or not. So I just stop, look at it, Decide I better go a little bit higher. Come on up. Again, this thing is so easy to control, and the view that you have on the screen when you're controlling it is just amazing. It's just exactly what you see here. Uh, you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing on the screen. Here's another look at the harbor again and the town wharf. It's interesting getting this view because I've uh, been in this area my whole life and you normally don't get this bird eye view like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, here I am again flying out over the wharfs, taking a look at it. The wind is blowing pretty good. You know, I am being aware of that. But the drone itself is compensating for the wind and it's holding itself right where, right where it needs to be. Uh, I'll turn out and look over the over the land here, see what it looks like. Again, all these houses that you see were all part of the old whaling industry. Uh, some of the houses made ropes, some of the houses made, you know, different parts of the boats. Uh, there were people that processed the whale. Uh, everything you see here pretty much is from that whaling era. And uh, it's just a beautiful town. So take a look around a little bit more. Uh, just like Salty the Seahorse is an icon, you can see on the left side of the screen at the end of that longest pier, there's a swordfish uh, weather vane, and that thing's been there forever too, and they, a few years back, reconditioned it, and it's just one of the things that you're so used to seeing down here, and we're going to fly over it in a second here. Uh, I'm still nervous about flying over the water because I'd rather not have to pay to replace this thing. Uh, I guess they're a little on the expensive side. You know, anywhere from about seven, eight hundred dollars on up, I guess, depending on what model you get and everything else. Uh, and this is a nice, nice little unit to be able to play with and get some amazing shots with. I look forward to maybe when the tall ships come in or go over to the Cape Cod Canal and fly in that area. So we're doing a little bit of that too. And there's looking back at the town wharf from over the water. Again, very nice area. Uh, I find, even though I've only flown this thing a few times, uh, that it's similar to my little runaway camper. That as soon as you bring it into an area, someone wants to take a look at it and see what you're doing and hear a little bit about it. So, you know, here I am flying toward 
myself and there's a gentleman out walking his two dogs and he was taking a look at it and the dogs were actually more interested than he was. I think they really wanted to play with it, but that would not have been good. So, yeah, looking back and forth. Uh, I'm still getting used to which direction to go. I meant to turn the opposite way. That's why I turned then abruptly came back. Uh, beautiful area. And I'll take you on one more little flight here over the, uh, the middle part of the town itself. And here we go. Uh, the building that you see, the brick building there, uh, right in the middle of the screen, that's old Hammertown School. That's where my, both of my children went to school. Uh, it's been there forever. Beautiful piece of architecture. The churches are beautiful. Uh, just great Cape Cod uh, construction and you know, if you like seaside type areas, if you like old historic areas, uh, Matapoise would be a nice place to come visit. It's got a lot to see, even though it's a tiny little town of only a few thousand. Thanks for coming along, checking out my new toy. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I look forward to a lot of uh, great flights with it. And if I get anything spectacular, I'll be sure to share it with you folks. So again, thanks for coming along, keeping me company out here. This is Hatch 61, enjoying the great outdoors and enjoying a nice new toy. So take care and have a great day.